My name is Dr. J. S. Rao. I am the managing director of Yashoda Hospital, which is the largest hospital in Telangana state, capital of Hyderabad. Covid pandemic, which affected worldwide, also affected hospitals also. How it affected hospitals is, one, there was a huge rush of Covid patients when there was a peak of Covid patients. And after that, though Covid has come down drastically, the normal patients, normal people were afraid to come to the hospitals for normal diseases like hernias, fistulas, so many other small, small. What is emergency, we always went on tackling, but what is normal cases like, you know, blood sugar, heart problems, this and that, people did not come to the hospitals, which really affected not only the hospital, but also the society. And probably that is now slowly coming to a near to normal situation at present stage. The pandemic situation of COVID is neither the first one nor the last one. These things will go on coming in our lifetime. We have to be prepared. First and foremost, we have to have a area like emergency unit which is meant only for pandemic and then transporting these patients to a, pan, uh, to a secluded isolation areas. This is what we have done and we have invested a lot of uh, equipment like ventilators and other uh, emergency equipment as a standby and it really helped when the pandemic were there because we had some time between Delhi and uh, Hyderabad. Now, because we have another um, quite some time for the next hit of pandemic, some reserves of equipment, manpower, infrastructural changes are being done in all our three hospitals. In COVID period, we have increased our diagnostic capabilities in uh, testing facilities for COVID and also gene sequencing and uh, other uh, approximators. And we have invested a lot on the pulmonology, you know, a lot of uh, new technology has come in the pulmonology and we have one of the best pulmonology doctors of our city and uh, who are uh, really ready for this uh, COVID uh, situation. And we have invested heavily on the intense visit because lot of uh, cases went into intensive care unit, we could able to salvage them. Without putting them on ventilator, we tried our level best by pressurized oxygen, lot of other systems which were, and it gave a lot of good results. Yashoda Hospital, in the initial phase of uh, pandemic of COVID, mostly government was uh, taking care of the patients. But when it became more than a certain particular number and government has relaxed so that the private sector also can take care of the patients. We have been observing for a few months how New York is doing, how other countries are doing and uh, mostly Delhi because Delhi had a pandemic a little earlier than Hyderabad. So we could combine and we were preparing SOPs, we were preparing our staff and doctors. The moment gov government uh, relaxed the uh, taking care of uh, COVID patient by private sector, immediately first thing which we did is social distance because hospitals are, you, you are aware that each patient will have two, three attendants, this and that, we have stopped that. And the social distance, hand wash, masks. 100% we made it like a military strict discipline to all our staff, all our uh, patients who are coming to our organization. It was a little difficult for our security people to enforce that, but we have really enforced and uh, there was no untoward uh, incidents as far as that is concerned. And uh, it helped us a lot because it came about a month after New York or maybe probably Delhi. We were ready with uh, the protocols. We, we would like to make the difference into three parts. One is uh, general patients who are, doesn't require much intervention. We put them in the rooms. Second thing is people are little bit serious but really not very serious we put them only on oxygen then the real patients who are there in the icus it was very difficult for us because a huge number used to come to us in uh, in our state around 150 ventilators were run by yashoda group itself whereas more than 300 were the only the number in the whole of our uh, state we really took care of the all serious patients 
which came to us. We have given lot of uh, console and uh, uh, I mean uh, lot of uh, education to the patients, education to our staff and we, we made the, our staff also ready with the protocols of PP kits, masks, hand wash. Each patient you have to have a hand wash, something like that. And really it worked a lot, it helped a lot. And uh, protocols were been changing from one to one because uh, our understanding of COVID went on uh, a little bit of this thing. So we also reduced the drugs, reduced the stay. Though um, patients were, <laughs> I mean first time patients were not willing to leave the hospital. I said we will take care when even when you are there in the houses. We have this uh, <coughs> telemedicine so that we can connect them with the houses. We have we took lot of hotels. We put the patient there once they are all right. So that is how we could manage. But I really congratulate my staff for working so hard for so many months and uh, I am happy at the end of the uh, this COVID pandemic period that uh, I am happy that uh, we could do something to our society. Yashoda Hospital started in, um, one, uh, one, uh, in 1989, December. It was named after my mother because we always feel she has really sacrificed her uh, whole of comfort and life for us to develop our, uh, all this thing. We started a very small nursing home with 100 beds, then expanded into one more area called Malakpet, that is a old city. We built a very big hospital there. Then again came back and uh, developed uh, our initial hospital into a very big hospital. Then again another, we put one more hospital in Secunderabad. All put together, we became around 2,000 beds. We are one of the largest chain in uh, Hyderabad and uh, I am sure we have one of the best medical doctors and staff with us. In the initial phases, we started a 100 bed hospital as a nursing home, not big technology. But over a period of time, we understood we would like to be a tertiary care hospital with all the equipment whatever available in neurology, cardiology and etc. So, example, there is an intraoperative MRI in the southern part of the country. We are the first ones to put uh, intraoperative MRI for neurosurgery. Where you do a surgery, you take a MRI which is besides your theater or in the theater itself. Then uh, send the patient if your surgery is uh, complete. If it is not complete, you can still go on doing it. That is how we have done it. And pulmonology, I am very, very proud that every equipment available in the whole world it is available with us because we thought pulmonology is one which is growing to develop heavily like cardiology. Cardiology also, you know, you have everything, whatever is available, we have it. But pulmonology is a developing uh, specialty presently and we have invested a lot and we are reaping the benefits of it. We are reaping the um, uh, confidence of patients with a lot of uh, uh, pulmonology cases we are able to. We are also doing lung transplants for COVID patients where in an extreme thing there is a fibrosis of lungs. We also did few lung transplants, heart transplant, liver transplants. This all improves and challenges our uh, uh, management and as, as well as our uh, doctors. This vaccine rollout, vaccine is sent by the government and then we are facilitating in all our three hospitals to all our staff and some of the other hospitals. Uh, staff also. We are observing, we are taking care of the, their addresses and then talking to them whether they have any adverse effects in the future and uh, that is one most important thing and immediately also if there is any effect like fever or maybe probably some headache or something like that, we are trying to console them. But so far, I think there is no question of any adverse effect which has ever occurred. But we have to observe at least for a few months to come to a certain conclusion and as a sampling we also want to see how many people will develop these antibodies which can uh, protect our COVID-19. As of now, our expansion plan is in another hospital in another part of the city, the same city, because city is expanding. This is a twin city. Second bed we have one, old city we have one, 
central city we have one new city which is coming up like you know it sector is developing a lot lot of population is moving to that side we are building one more hospital which will be some 20 lakh square feet of area has been built and it will be one of our largest hospitals in in our country and we are planning to have around 2000 beds and we are of capacity and all the infrastructure required to maintain that kind of patients also we are creating